<coughs> an experience. All right, our final team in today is the South Carolina Gamecocks. We're joined by head coach Don Staley, student athletes Bree Hall and Sanaya Fagan. Coach, if you would please make a, an opening statement. Um, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it today so we can prep for next year. Norfolk State is not a 16 seed. Just, just want you to know that. They're not. Very well coached, very disciplined. Um, I mean, they, they play for 40 minutes. Uh, they uh, they run some great stuff, and um, I mean if it if it wasn't for the way we play defense, they they would have probably given us a, a lot of troubles considering how we how we did not shoot the ball uh, well outside of the first quarter. We'll open up for questions just for the student athletes at this time. David with the first one. Just when you got out there, did you think, okay, we've got to step it up a notch? Go ahead. You can go first. All right. Um, well, Coach always instills us that, you know, to be productive out there on the court, you know, coming off the bench, you know, it's always like, oh, well, we're coming off the bench. No, that's not how we think. We go out there and we're like, let's let's go out there, let's play hard, bring whatever we can hand to the table. Uh, and that's it, really. Yeah, I just say, uh, no matter what we in numbers call, just be ready to go out there and do what we know how to do. Emily? Mm -hmm. Sanaya, you came out and hit a bunch of shots really quickly, um, had one of the best shooting percentages on the team. Just what did that feel like for you to do that, that on the hard. stage and also, you know, <laughs> what what gave you the confidence to come in and shoot like that in that uh, moment? I'm sorry. Like I said, uh, Coach always say, no matter what, when your number's called, be ready to go out there and do what you know how to do. Um, I mean, I just felt like I just went out there and do what I, did what I know how to do. And Allen in front. Uh, for either of you, you know, the second second time doing this, you know, you're here last year. Where do you guys kind of feel like you are now, either mentally or physically, with NCAA tournament games compared to where you were at this time last year? I feel well. Are you talking about personally, or as a team? Or personally. Well, personally, I feel like you know, going in, this is my second year at this, and I feel like I have a little bit more experience. I feel like the focus is really there, and my mentality is just to really go out there and play with confidence. I feel like last year I kind of lacked the confidence part, and this year I'm playing a lot more confident. I can agree exactly what she said. <laughs> Pete. Bree, what's this like being part of an undefeated team? Is it a lot of fun, or is it more pressure as things ramp up and you guys get closer to a title? <clears throat> There's some pressure, but it's also a lot of fun. Um, we, you know, as an undefeated team, we actually really don't talk about it. We're not like, oh, like, you know, we've got this long streak of wins. We just take each game, game by game, and just go out there and play like how we've always been playing. And yeah, that's really it. I think we've got a question in the back. Amanda? This is for Bree. Bree, last year after the Howard game, um, someone asked you a question. Your response was, this is just what we do. This is just kind of what we expect. This is how we do it. Um, is that the same mentality headed into this year as well or headed into the postseason? Yeah, I, I definitely say it's the same. I think we just go out there and just do what we do best. That's what Coach always tells us. Any other questions for the student athletes? No? Okay. You all can go back to the locker room if you like. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We'll take questions for Coach Saley at this time. David's got the first one. Donald, in the second quarter, uh, Rick State turned a couple of turnovers into five points. You call it timeout. Uh, one was the message of that timeout. Two, I don't think that you're much of a fan of calling those in the middle yeah. of runs, but why did you feel it necessary to go ahead and do that? Um, I mean, I just thought we were just – I mean, we made some some pretty good plays, just natural, in the flow. And then I thought we just tried to force things that weren't there um, or just try to make a spectacular play rather than just simplifying. And it, it happened more than once, and I just felt like it was time to just let our players know that, I mean, we don't, we want, we don't want to give people um, opportunities. I mean, and at halftime, they had seven points off our turnovers and, and, and seven points off our off seven, seven second chance points. They had 18 points total. Like, and then four, two of the four points that they had were just they stepped through us. We had a, you know, we had a pretty good defensive stop. 
I mean, our defense was doing its job, you know. Our offense was killing us and our inability to uh, control the boards in the first half. So, I mean, those are those are things that we are really good at. I mean, and, and, and discipline, and we weren't that at that time. Emily? Uh, Ashlyn and Sanaya both played some pretty significant minutes tonight. Just what did you see from the two of them that you liked that you wanted to keep going? I mean, they've, they've been practicing well. Um, and I, I just tried to get them in, in the game uh, with some of our older players just to give them some experience um, because we don't know what, you know, we don't know what our, our seniors are going to do. They all could leave. And um, I would like for some of our young post players to, to really get some, some experience playing in big games and having to be counted on and, and, have, and give them some experience to understand that it's going to take it's going to take more than what they did today for us to be successful next year. Al? Uh, some of the players in the locker room were saying they felt like rust was an issue, especially in that first half. Did you notice rust, and how do you go about trying to knock that off in the middle of a game? Um, I mean, we weren't rusty when we practiced. We were probably game rusty. Uh, but I think Norfolk State had a lot to do with it. They they challenged us. They they forced us to, to, uh, to play a certain way and to, to maintain a, a certain level of discipline. And if mm -hmm. we didn't, you know, they made us pay for it. So um, I think we, we won the game with our talent. I do think we won the game with our talent. Um, and then we had a, you know, at the free throw line, um, we, we weren't great, but we forced them to have to play us um, and our length. So um, obviously, we moving forward, we can't rely on that because we got you know, a South Florida team that's going to fight and uh, do what they need to do to get a win. Pete. <clears throat> Don, what do you think has to happen in order to get that engaged? Is it just a good practice tomorrow, good strong practice tomorrow, get everybody focused again for uh, Sunday? Um, I mean, yeah, they're, they're focused, you know, but sometimes they lose focus in the, in the thrill of wanting to, you know, hear the, the, the crowd cheer loudly. Um, I mean, I think that's enough. I mean, the timeout is uncharacteristic of me, so. Um, I think it was uncharacteristic of them. So I think we we both got the, the point. And we'll, we'll practice uh, tomorrow to get ready for South Florida. And hopefully we'll have a better, you know, a better outing from the free throw line, from just us having a 40-minute commitment to what we need to do on offense. I know our defense will show up because that's what, you know, that's what we, that's what we do. Um, and then, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Jeremiah? Uh, Dawn, you said uh, a couple minutes ago uh, with Sanaya, you know, she's been practicing well. Her teammates have said that, you know, she's been practicing well. The third quarter, she had kind of that six point uh, kind of burst. Uh, what have you kind of noticed, I guess, about her progression to this point in the season? And, and just kind of what did you like about uh, the, the minutes that she played today? I mean, uh, Fagan can score, no doubt about it. She's very, very talented offensively. But if, if, you, heard, if you were on our side and you heard her father, Father said, play some defense. Yep, and I said, look back at him. I said, you're absolutely right. Um, that, is the, that is the thing that is the hardest learning curve for her. Um, but she's getting, she really understands. She really understands. And I think she just needs, um, you know, more, a, a better commitment to it. Um, and she's, she's just young. Like, if, if, she would have, if she would have had the year that she's having this year, last year, she would probably be much better off, but she got to go through it. You got to go through it. Like a year in which she made a commitment to, to work a little bit harder and to change her body and um, and to see herself as, as being dominant. Dom domination is a, is a process, and it's a process that that we've journeyed with, with Aaliyah. Um, and it's, it's sort of the same thing. Go right here in front. So I wanted to follow up on USF. I know you had some assistant scouting. Just how aware are you of that program, the coach, and what, what do you kind of <clears throat> expect from them on Sunday? Um, just, I mean, well coached. Um, spread you out. Um, hard, hard cutting. Um, they, they, they occupy the defense you know, on both sides of the basketball. But mainly, you know, the, the weak side of the floor is always has you occupied. So it lends opportunities for them to drive on you, for you to, for them to space you out and shoot threes and um, just well coached. Like, 
you know, offense is what they what they do fairly well, and then they're they're stingy defensively. They they play a sort of a, like a pack line sagging, and then scout and report defense. If you can shoot the ball, they're gonna guard you. If you can't, they're not gonna guard you. Um, so I mean, we have to approach it pretty much the same way. Like we got to get our bigs involved. I mean, that is that is our advantage, and then our you know our depth has to play a role in it. And the last question, Amina. Coach, um, you guys win this one by 42 points, but in that first half, the inconsistencies, the fans start <clears throat> freaking out. What does that say about the level of expectations you guys have set here, and what is that standard? Oh, I mean, our you know our, our fans want us to play well every second um, that we're on the floor, um, and we've uh, we understand that, and we we try to live up to that. We we really do, um, but they. They ebb and flow. They they go on an emotional roller coaster with us and our play, and I, I wouldn't want them to be any other way. Like I, I don't want them to be bored with winning. I don't want them to accept us playing uncharacteristically bad. Um, I want them to be right there with us because that's what's that's that's what's happening. We had to turn it around. We had to create some good plays for them to get involved into the game because that's what they're used to. All right, we'll let Coach go. We'll have an opportunity to speak with her again tomorrow. So. Thank you. Appreciate it.